Oh, that door shuts like a dream. <sighs> it's a bit cold this morning. So I'm heading out. I bet you can't guess where. It's Bricko. I'm heading out to the shop to get the other double glaze unit. Ooh. This one. And I might actually try and look for a window dory thing for up there, which leads to the not a roof terrace as well. See what they got in stock. Ooh, let's do it. Right, let's do this. Well, you left me in the morning sun. Oh, baby. Oh, I'll be back before the sun goes down. Oh, yeah. Just a little trim, that's all. It'd help if someone gave me the right size to begin with, but what can you do? Good. Where's my spirit level gone, you? No. Are you taking my spirit level? Huh? That one. Right. Let's get these doors on. If there is one thing that I've learned, and I don't learn things very often, is that it's worth now spending a little bit of time adjusting all the hinges and making sure the door closes absolutely perfectly. Because it'll really pee you off in a few months time with a sticky door. Oh, closes like a dream. I'll tell you now, peeling protective plastic off things is like my favorite thing to do. Oh yes. Ta da! Well, now these doors are in, which I'm so pleased with, by the way. Um, I'm going to clear some of this rubbish that's in front of here, and I'm going to create a box out of wood. So then can pour a concrete pad in front and that just keeps everything nice and neat and it brings the level up so at the moment it's a bit like that just nice and straight so the concrete pad in front is going to be a meter and a half by four meters and that's because that's what size wood i've got Because it's such a slope, it's going to be a lot deeper one side than the other. So all the rubble that I've got lying around, I can now just fill in with that, concrete over it. Oh, God, you're so strong. 
Oh, so that's just brought the level up, so I've got to put less concrete in now, which saves me a little bit of time and money. Well, that's about as good as it gets for today, and I'll see you tomorrow.